It's 5 a.m. We're going to Hollywood Studios to ride the new Star Wars ride. <laughs> this is literally oh my insane. Why are there so many people here? It's a race. It's a race. It is survival of the fittest right now. There she is, all the way in the distance. These are all Lyfts and Ubers. Oh. <laughs> they got the trams on deck ready to go. Look, parking is already back here. This is the, just the security line. What? Look at all the Lyfts and the Ubers and the, oh my God. Oh. It's 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, is that guest without bags? Yeah. I have a bag and so do you. Let's go. Guest without bags. You're not a guest without a bag. Starbucks. I don't think we're going to because everyone is just standing here just to stand here because there's nowhere to go and they didn't let anyone like in into the park yet. There's literally nowhere for anyone to go. Everyone's just standing here. But we're trying to get Starbucks, but we probably can't. So, um. Starbucks. The Starbucks line will be very, very long, but by the time you're halfway through the line, the boarding passes go up, so it like makes it go by quicker. And now we're halfway, we're inside, we're like halfway through the line and we got our boarding passes and we're good to go and now we're just gonna like get coffee and see. We probably won't stay here because we probably won't go on until like 10.30 and it's literally 6 a.m. even though it feels like it's like 12 noon now. <laughs> So that's my recommendation. Come here, get in line for Starbucks, get your boarding pass, in line for Starbucks, and you'll be good to go. The only bad thing is the security line, so I definitely would probably recommend getting here at like 5.30 the latest, because we got here 
at 5.35, we parked the car and we were walking to the entrance and we walked into the park at, I wanna say, 5.47, I think. So we still had like 13 minutes before we could get the boarding pass. Um, but it just all depends on how long the security lines are and which line you get into. So I would definitely be careful with that because that's the only thing that will um, trip you up and make you maybe not get in the park by six. But as long as you're in the park by six, you're totally fine. It's 6.20 in the morning and Slinky Dog is 135 minute wait. I got my drink, bacon gouda egg sandwich, mommy got a spinach feta wrap, then we got lemon pound cake to share, and mommy got a green tea latte as always. Matcha! The sun is finally rising. It's so nice. So mommy booked a fast pass for Tower of Terror from 625 to 725. She doesn't actually yes. go on the ride but we're gonna walk on together and then she's gonna like chicken out and like go down the regular elevator. We're trying to get Slinky Dog fast pass, probably not gonna be able to, but we're gonna keep attempting. Listen, nothing is impossible. We just got the new Star Wars ride. I think there might be a chance of getting Slinky, right? If we could get Star Wars, we maybe can get Slinky. So, maybe. We're gonna keep trying, fingers crossed. Look at this beauty, my favorite thing ever. I'm trying to convince her to actually go on it and stay on it, but she refuses. So I was like, how about this is like your preparation for Rise of the Resistance. She wants no part. So the green has been filling up more and more once that last green bar is filled. I'm pretty sure that means that they're gonna call us because I checked it like 20 minutes ago and this green was filled and it said something else here, but now that one's filled. So I think we should be being called soon, I hope. So the second we got off Tower of Terror, guess what alert we got? Our boarding group was called. Our boarding group was called. And we got the top, well, I got the top floor on yeah, Tower of Terror. Too. I was so happy because that's what I pray for every time because it's not as fun if you drop from the bottom because that's only a 100 foot drop, but if you drop from the top third window, that's 130 foot drop, so it was just that much better. And my friend that works at Tower of Terror was telling my mom that uh, Rise of the Resistance also has a drop shaft, and she was like, oh no, it's, it's a virtual reality ride. Thought... She's in for it, I love drops. We're going, we're going. Thank you. It's go time, ladies and gents, we're doing it. Yes, we do. We're doing it, it's probably on the van. What, what is that? A vlog camera. It's a vlog camera? Yeah. We don't have that here on Batu, but two, <laughs> but if you're like, gonna be, gonna be careful, all right? We don't want the first order knowing about what we're yes. doing here, okay? I know, I know. Well, welcome to the resistance, Travelers. May the force be with you, left hand side. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> I don't know what to expect, I really don't. Oh my gosh. This is it. It's go time. <laughs> My heart is pounding. <laughs>
that's half of a full day. Like that's your day. That you can't do anything else. So to avoid that and to avoid people wasting their entire day, literally their entire day in the park online. What does all this mean, do you know? Or maybe it's just a diagram. It's kind of hot in here. Yeah, no, it's our nerves. <laughs> Okay, so we got our boarding pass at 6 a.m. We were group 33 and we got called at like 7.45-ish. So like an hour and 45 minutes into the park being open, like after we got our boarding pass. And we were group 33, so that hopefully will give you guys like a good idea of like when to get your boarding number, like what time you'll be called in. It can be different because it honestly depends on when the people come that get their boarding groups because you have two hours. Like we can come from 7.45 to 9.45, we just wanted to do it ASAP because we're so excited. Well, can I just remember that we spoke to when we came here the other night trying to go on at, what time did we come here? We came here at like 9, the park closed at 10. And we were like, hoping to get on. We were crazy for even thinking that. But the cast member said that the ride is completely trackless. And like, we're trying to, no, he said it's trackless. Yeah. They literally said it's the first trackless ride. No, we're going on. Let's just leave it a surprise. We're, but we're just trying to make sense of how it's trackless. So my mom was saying maybe it's like air hockey. Uh, I don't really. Okay, there's a cast member right here that is literally confirming the entire ride is trackless, but it moves throughout the building. But it's not like in a tower of terror. Not like that. It's very small. How can you go over a hill in the car and just do it? Okay. Look at that.
closer. Get this clear so we can make the job. 
Be ready for it much time. Where are all those TIE fighters coming from? They're completely empty. What in those star destroyers? We can't. We're caught in a trap to be. It's pulling us in. Identify yourselves and prepare to be boarded. This is TR-141. We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, resistance scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. They're quick, yeah. They'll want the location of our secret base. Tell them nothing. The future of the resistance is at stake. I have a bad feeling. Did we really move? Are they real? Are they real? Look at this. Yes, General. Uh, Enemies of the First Order, 
We will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. It was like you have to do it. I don't care what it takes, do it. It's worth it. Go on it. I don't want to ruin it. It was crazy. Like, it was nothing like I expected. We didn't know where to look. Sometimes I was too scared to look. I was like, I, I don't even want to look. I don't know. That was insane. So much going on. So much at all times. Everyone's shooting at you. Everyone wants to kill you. Everyone wants to throw you around. And you like swap places with the other car. And like, you lose them. And then you meet them. And then it's a mirror. And then. I don't know, it's crazy. It's literally crazy. Okay, overall, give me your review. It was very good. I have to say, there was a lot going on, so you had to like look at everything, listen to everything, and um, take it all in. It was a lot, it was good, it was very good. All right, so standby is 150 minutes. The line goes all the way along here. to Toy Story Land. Insane. Okay, so right now we're at the exit of Star Wars Land, coming into Toy Story Land. It's a one-way exit, so if we leave out this way, we have to go all the way back around. You can't come in to Star Wars from Toy Story right now. That's how crazy it is. That's how insane it is right now. There's Jesse. Oh, hi, Jesse. 
So in celebration of completing the new Star Wars ride, we got blue milk. We're not riding Slinky, it's 100 minute wait and there's no fast pass. So I think this is our cue to go home. We did what we had to do. We had a fun time doing it. Now we're done. Bus has a Santa hat on. Santa bus.